Australia has spearheaded the naming and shaming of a cyber hacking group connected to the Chinese government. China has overnight accused Australia and Five Eyes partners of stirring up trouble and using cyber security issues to slander and smear China. We advise the parties concerned to keep their eyes open and distinguish between right and wrong and not to be duped into taking risks at the expense of their own interests and that of others. Olivia Kaisley had this original report. Named and shamed, Australia takes the lead accusing a powerful Chinese spy agency of sustained cyber espionage. It's part of a growing international push against Beijing's malicious activities. APT40 has repeatedly targeted Australian networks as well as government and private sector networks in the region and the threat it poses to our networks is ongoing. We welcome the fact that the government has acted with our other international partners in calling this out, uh, and it's a reminder to everyone that you have to make sure that you are following proper cyber safety procedures. It comes just weeks after Chinese Premier Li Chung's visit to Australia, during which both countries sought to cast the bilateral relationship in a positive light. As Canberra pushes back against Beijing on cyber, it's also trying to prevent a stranglehold in the Pacific, the Commonwealth committing $6.3 million of funding to bolster banking infrastructure. This funding is about working with you all to ensure our part of the world is stable and prosperous. Preventing the loss of banking services in the Pacific is vital to the safety, security and economic development of our region. The money will go towards improving digital identity infrastructure, preventing money laundering and terrorism financing, as well as assisting Pacific nations with criminal justice and law enforcement. There is the challenge that the markets are too small, but the risk profile too high, not uh, opened up as a backdoor avenue for international influence. Olivia Kaisley, Sky News, Canberra.